So I just allowed myself to record on my phone a few things, a few short videos. And what I realized is that I am much more flexible with how I structure the video. And usually I record here. This is the usual spot. And I talk very statically to the camera. Of course, I can move and I can do different things. But the main problem is that visually, not a lot is actually changing. But if I now instead walk like this, I can also, I don't really have the problem of trying to look at the camera, but not really looking at the camera, but then at the, sc at the screen again. Because if I just record myself walking, it doesn't actually matter that much to which direction I am looking at. So therefore, I think it allows for a much more dynamic format, which also means that I don't have to worry about my eye movement that much and about where I look. And I also don't have to constantly look at the screen because that's what I usually do if I record these. But it allows my view to be something else. I can look at something else. And therefore, this might also mean that I can just walk around outside, for example, and record these videos. If I then additionally accept the fact that I just record internally on my microphone, and instead of trying to optimize basically my microphone, what I could instead try to optimize is my speaking, such that the internal microphone then of my phone would be enough for the audio to be perceived as a more or less good quality audio, or at least up to the extent to which or at which the audio is not perceived as a limiting factor when it comes to the consumption of the video. Very bad audio turns out a otherwise good video very easily very bad, whereas very good audio can turn a normal video, I guess, very easily into something that is very good. But in terms of these, of course, it would make sense to try to improve the audio. But if it comes at the cost at, in general, recording less ideas and or, in general, not recording the ideas at the moment of or closer in proximity, in, in temporal proximity, in time to the moment at which the idea actually was created, basically, usually in my brain when I, I don't know, run outside or something like this, and then I have an idea. And actually, until, until yesterday, I didn't really allow myself to put these ideas down whenever I actually had them, because this prevents me from having like a life at which I not constantly am thinking about new ideas. Because I realized the more I actually allow myself to write these down outside of maybe a scheduled writing down or note-taking time slot, the more I also think about new ideas. And of course, these new ideas are not revolutionary new ideas. It's just usually merging two different things together. I mean, there is an argument to be made that most ideas we can potentially create our own, or, or basically all ideas are of course only combinations of things that already exist because you cannot really create completely something new. In total, if I again would open up the format of this video, uh, not really the format itself, but much more my standard of audio quality, and lower it again to my phone. Of course, I could also have other options to achieve the same outcome. For example, I could accept that a newer phone, so currently I have the Galaxy S10, but if I actually got a newer phone, and a newer phone, such as the Galaxy S22, would have a better microphone, then I could accept this better microphone as a high quality audio standard, whereas currently the internal microphone is at least in my mind and in my system basically marked as a low quality microphone. Which also means for the people who just want to listen to the things I say as audio and not on video, because some of these videos where I actually don't have something to show are just audio or can be also just audio, therefore I also release them as a podcast. Therefore these people, of course, have the downside of now having way better, way worse actually, audio. But if I would upgrade my phone, would this then allow me to record more ideas? So therefore I think there are different variables, but the variable 
that now I was taking a look at is the one to which degree actually being able to move around and also, by the way, increasing my step count without actually being very active. But of course, it allows me to be very active. And according to some people like Ben Greenfield, you should try to be active all day long. And people who are in these blue zones tend to... People in these blue zones, so basically in the zones where people live the longest on Earth, seem to be very... Not in a very... They seem to be low-key active throughout the day compared to maybe training for 30 minutes very high intensively or on high intensity and then not doing something for the rest of the day, basically sitting for the rest of the day. So this would me also allow or allow me whenever I would record to move instead of just being very static in front of the microphone and not being able to change my position much. Because if I have my arm here, then the position of the microphone, or at least the distance from the microphone to my mouth is kind of fixed. Of course, I can also move it farther away or closer, and moving it farther away actually would allow me to record more. But this then again would also mean that the image is changing less. This means the video is visually less engaging because there is just less things happening that then need to be processed in the brains of the one who watches you, I guess. Something else to consider is obviously the fact that if you are outside and if you, for example, have a usual route and you post something recording yourself outside with the usual route, then either you can potentially record other people so this is one thing, but what you also can potentially do, and what you eventually probably will do, is dox yourself. So for the people who don't know, is for the people who don't know, doxing is a word that means the accumulation of public, publicly already shared information, and then to basically try to identify a person, where a person lives what the real person, what the real name of a person is, and so on. So by going outside and recording yourself outside, you make it basically very easy because the only thing people have to do is take screenshots and then reverse search them with Google Images and then they know where you live or at least where you walked at this point in time. And if, of course, you record multiple videos and then people can potentially even match your, not match, but have your walking routes, for example, or the routes or the places which you usually go to. And then if somebody, let's say, wanted to harm you in any way or another, and this for many people that are in a public role online, either, or also just in a political way, for example, just people who are known, there is just a higher, not a higher portion, but the portion, if we assume that for every hundred people, for example, one person wants to do you harm, then if you scale this up, to now, so let's say 100 people know you, then you have one person. But if you scale this up again and again and again, 1,000 people, 10 people already want to potentially harm you. 10,000 people, then 100 people, 100,000 people, then it's 1,000 people that would potentially harm you. And now, out of these 1,000 people that would potentially want to harm you, if only like, again, 1%, makes the necessary step of first doxing, then matching all the images, then this person could just show up at the point in time at which you usually appear at this place, for example, and then cause potentially harm to you or your family or the friends you have or the social circle you have. So this is also, I think, something to keep in mind, at least when it comes to theoretically walking outside. So in total, there are, of course, different variables, I think, to consider. And... Of course, everybody has to decide on their own which of the variables are the ones that you actually then seem or deem as the most important. But at least for me, I think this format actually, at least as I'm recording this, seems to also, I don't know, um, be more enjoyable, maybe because it's also something new. But, well, maybe I'll try this more.